Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to make this um, decorative pen or pencil holder. And this is a great gift if you're running low on the cheap or running low on money. So I'm just going to get started on materials you're going to need. So first of all, you're going to need scissors, um, a transparent cup, and I got this for $3 at Walmart. So, yeah, it doesn't matter if it's plastic or glass, as long as it's just transparent. But, to be honest, I think glass is um, a good choice, because, you know, it's not bendable. But, plastic is more kid-friendly if you're going to make it for someone, you know, a kid. So, just so you know. And some straws, colorful straws, if you want to make it pop out from black and white or gray. <laughs> and I got these at Ikea for $2. And this crafting product only cost me $5 plus tax in total. So it's pretty cheap. And then the last thing you're going to need to do if you're, I don't know, in a rush or something... You go ask one of your siblings or whoever is available to cut these up for you. And I had to cut these up by myself last night. So I just hope you don't have to face that. I'm just going to get started. Oh, and you're going to need some pens or pencils to put it in, of course. So I'm just going to get started. Okay, so I already cut cut it up, all my straw pieces, and there's another way using straws. You can get some colored paper or construction paper and then wrap it around the straw until you make like a thick bead and then just cut it. But I just like this method better because I can't find any construction paper in my house. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you what it would be if you need to cut it. And you have to be very cautious because they fly everywhere, but I'm just going to leave that alone. Now moving on, now you're just going to place all your chopped pieces or cut. Just going to put it in like so. I actually made this for my mom and she really liked it. So it's just a hint. And there you go. You can choose to either add more or use less. And it doesn't necessarily have to be straws that you're using. You can use construction paper without the straws, um, confetti pieces. But this is just the way that I like to do it. And see, very colorful. And I'm just going to place all of your... Pens, markers, many eraser tubes, like this one, in, and there you have it. And I already made a other one, and I sort of like this one better, and I'm going to add all of them to it. Only because I'm using this cup for my water. And, yep, that's just about it. And I guess I'll see you guys soon. Bye!